Okay, I know what you're thinking. There are literally tens of thousands of command blocks, okay, I'm exaggerating, around here, and there's no way this simple tutorial is going to be using all that. And you are right. So we are only going to be using these five command blocks, not all of these here. And what are they, you may ask? Well, I'm not going to answer. It's for a future video that will come out probably in a year or so, for sure. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need is a scoreboard, okay? You, maybe you've done scoreboard commands before, maybe not, but you have to do scoreboard objectives. You gotta add one, uh, just call it something. So we're doing a respawn timer. So I would do a, we first need to, so first we need to test if the player is dead or not. So then I made scoreboard death, add death and then make sure it just says death count. That's all you gotta do, and then you just press enter. I already made the scoreboard, so I'm not gonna do that. And then the next thing you need to do is this command right here. Execute as at A, so anyone that, that's dead, so you get a score of one if you're dead. Run, uh, so it just basically make them spectator if their their death score is one, or whatever you named your scoreboard. But I may, named mine death. This is our inner repeating command, and always act. And then we're gonna chain that up into this chain command, Block right here, which says uh, anyone that has anyone's that is that's dead basically uh, set their respawn. So this is another scoreboard to 140. Now we have to go make that scoreboard. So do the same thing as the other one almost. So just add and then respawn, and then you just do dummy, and then that's it. You just do that. Now back to this command, the respawn 140. That's how long. The respawn time so in minecraft 20 ticks are in a second or something like that so then this should be about seven seconds uh this command block is a chain conditional and always act then we have this one so scoreboard players reset at a death so after it uh sets someone's respawn time all the way to seven seconds it will reset their score back to zero so that their death count is just back to zero, so it just says they're not dead, but they're still technically dead. Anyways, just do that. It's chain conditional, always act. Next up, we have this one. So, this is, uh, execute the command for a player. By the way, this is all multiplayer friendly. So, if their respawn match is zero, so if their uh, respawn time is set to 140, and, and if it reaches zero, so it's counting down, we'll do the countdown command block later. So, if it counts down and it reaches zero, then set their g game mode to adventure. So, then now they're just back in adventure mode. Then this one counts down, so scoreboard players remove at A, respawn one. So Respawn is a countdown. We set ours to 140. So then this removes one every tick, which 20 ticks in a second. You do the math and then repeat. This is always active and that's literally it for this one. Okay, so if I set my spawn over here, then I can actually test out this respawn time. So as you see, if I kill myself with this black terracotta, don't ask why, I am now in spectator. I can't do anything. Yay, seven seconds or something like that. And then I am back into adventure mode or survival, your choice, creative mode. No, they're doing a game. It wouldn't be creative mode. That's how you do a respawn time. It's pretty easy. I guess just five command blocks and making scoreboards. And I think that's it for today's video, and I hope you enjoyed!